This circuit consists of three parts. We have a source with 120 volts AC. We have a motor. And we have a current meter. You are asked to calculate the current that is flowing in this circuit. Since it's a series circuit, we know that the current will be the same at all locations. To calculate the current, we can use this equation. We know that the current is equal to the source voltage divided by the impedance of the motor. We can substitute the values in very quick as 120 volts, angle 0 degrees, divided by 8.6 plus J 6.5. Since this is a series circuit, the total impedance is the sum of the individual impedances. We're now going to shift over to Scilab to perform the actual calculations. So we can enter our values first. The source voltage is equal to 120. We could put the imaginary part on there if we like, but it doesn't matter because you see Scilab strips it off and you're left with only a real component of 120 volts. Now we can enter the impedance of the motor and that is equal to 6.8 plus J times 6.5 and now we can calculate the total current. Again the total current is the source voltage divided by the impedance of the motor. To make this a little easier I've built a function that allows us to see current in its many different faces. Here is the rectangular representation. Here is the phaser for RMS. Here is a phaser for peak. These two are the complex exponential representation and if we do this again, this time including frequency, we have down here the time domain representation of that current. If you would like to use the Scilab functions, please see the links below. Also, leave a comment if you have any particular problems that you would like to see solved. I have one more thing. If you were to measure this current using an amp meter, for example, if you were to put an amp clamp right there on that line, you would measure 11.13. In fact, if we went here, and we looked up the absolute value of our current. That is what you would measure. If you're curious, find the data sheet for a one horsepower single phase motor that operates on 120 volts AC. And you'll find the current is indeed about 11 amps.